Hi Lana, uh, welcome. So we are going to look at uh, the software developer career. Yeah, what it entails. Yeah, what do you really require to be a good software developer, especially if you are uh, here in Kenya and you are interested in pursuing uh, your career in matters related to a uh, software uh, development. Now, a uh, software developer or developers are the creative minds behind computer programs. Yeah, some develop the applications that allow people to do specific tasks on a computer or any other computing device. Yeah. Others develop the underlying systems that run the devices or that control networks. Yeah. So uh, developers do a lot of development works and maybe it's important uh, to really understand uh, what specific tasks that you will be required to perform should you become uh, a developer. Yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, software developers develop computer applications that allow users to perform specific tasks uh, on computers or other devices. Yeah. But of course they have their specific. Yeah. Like for example, you can say they are able to write, uh, modify and debug software uh, for the client applications. Yeah. Uh, they also do the testing of the softwares, they write code yeah, in single-threaded, multi-threaded environment, right? They can also analyze users' needs, yeah, before actually they start uh, designing a particular uh, software and eventually develop it, yeah. So, uh, of course, they ensure that a program continues to function normally through software maintenance and testing. Uh, that's another uh, job or what a software developer does. Uh, apart from that, they also need to document every aspect of an application or a system as a reference for future maintenance and upgrades. Yeah. Now, since this is software development work, they need to collaborate or you need to collaborate with other computer specialists to create uh, optimum uh, software. Right? So, we can uh, go on and on and look at the details of what they do. Right? But let's look at the two categories of software are developers that you are likely to get yeah uh, of course we have application software developers yeah they design computer applications uh, name them uh, word processors uh, microsoft uh, excel and so on even the game applications right they may create custom software of course for specific customer or commercial software to be sold to this general public right some application software developers are my might create a complex data, data business for organization. They'll also create programs uh, that people use over the internet and within companies' internet, yeah? So application softwares uh, are, are actually, uh, they can always be able to do whatever we have mentioned. Uh, for systems software developers, yeah, of course, if you talk about system softwares, what comes in mind is uh, the operating systems, right? So uh, they create the systems that keep computers functioning properly. Uh, properly. Uh, this could be operating system for computers that uh, the general public buys or systems are built specifically for an organization, right? So often, a system uh, software developers also build the systems interface, uh, which is what allows uh, users to interact with the computer. So uh, we have different types of operating systems that you know. We have the open, open source and the proprietary softwares. I talk about the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, I mean Windows uh, 10 and so on. And also talk about the Linux uh, softwares. Uh, that, those are the examples of operating system, right? Uh, so basically uh, system software developers are uh, create operating system that control most of the consumer electronics uh, that are in use today, yeah? uh, well, such as the phones, uh, talk about the cars, and so on. So what kind of skills are you expected to have if you want to become a software developer or if you are a software developer? Of course, number one, uh, you need to have some kind of analytical skills. Yeah? Now, developers must analyze users' needs and then design software to meet those needs. Right. So communication skills is very, very critical. Uh, developers must be able to give clear instructions to other working on a project. Uh, they must also explain to their customers how the software works and answer any question 
that might arise yeah, during the development process. Uh, of course, you need computer skills. Yeah? So developers must understand computer capabilities and, com and various programming languages yeah, in order to design effective uh, software. Uh, of course, uh, so a good developer must be creative. Developers uh, need creative minds uh, and they are also uh, the people who are behind this particular computer software that we have. So they must be uh, detail oriented. Uh, they must uh, work or mean on many parts of the application or system at the same time and must therefore uh, be able to concentrate and pay attention uh, to details, right? Now, uh, the interpersonal skills is also necessary here. Yeah, software developers must be able to work well with others who contribute to designing, uh, developing, and eventually programming successful uh, software. And of course, uh, the pro problem solving skills is also very crucial uh, in that uh, developers are in charge of software from beginning uh, to end. So they must be able to solve problems that arise uh, throughout uh, the design process. So those are the very uh, important uh, skills that a software developer really uh, requires. Now, the future, or actually if maybe you get a job, yeah, how does the job opportunity look like? Yeah? So uh, maybe I have looked at some kind of statistics and I think the future is bright yeah? uh, because people need to develop, there's a rapid need uh, of softwares. Uh, so employment of software, uh, employment of software developers is projected to grow by about 17% uh, from next year, that is 2022, onwards to 2027 yeah it will be much faster than the average for all occupations so employment of application developers is projected to grow at about 19 percent and employment of system developers is projected to grow at that 13 uh, percent yeah so maybe why uh the main reason for this is because in both applications, developers and system developers is a, in a large increase in the demand of computer software. Yeah, the need of new applications on mobile devi devices, uh, tablets will help increase the demand for application uh, developers. And of course, uh, looking at maybe uh, the other organization functions, uh, we need uh, like the health and the medical insurance. Uh, industry will need innovative softwares to manage new health care policy enrollments, administration of existing uh, policies, digitalis, I mean, uh, digitally, you know, I mean, there are a lot that needs to be developed, right? Uh, the system developers, of course, are likely to see new opportunities because of an increase in the number of products that use software. Yeah, for example, computer systems built into the consumer electronics and other products such as cell phones and uh, appliances. And of course, we also have the bottlenecks of these particular uh, softwares. So security issues will always ensure that we have a need for developing a new uh, softwares. A software developer work is not easy. Yeah. So they must be paid very, very well. So you can see the salary overview. Uh, like uh, uh, in mid or in May 2020, uh, there's a projection that the mean a median annual wage for developers was about 99,000 US, uh, 97,000 US dollars, all, almost about 98, yeah. So that's a good uh, um, median uh, salary. That's a very good. So uh, an earlier career software developer uh, specifically in Kenya with one to four years of experience will mostly be compensated by with uh, 760,000 Kenya shillings. Yeah. So these are statistics that I collected based on uh, 105 salaries. Yeah. And of course we have, if maybe you have some more experience, yeah. so a mid-career software developer with five to nine years of experience will earn an average total compensation of 1.9 million Kenya shillings. So this is based on the uh, 19 uh, salaries that I, I looked at. Finally, uh, what do you need actually to become a good or to become a software 
uh, developer. Yeah. So I've captured six steps. Of course, uh, there are more than that, but these are the uh, basic ones. Yeah. Uh, being a software developer, as we have seen, it really requires a lot of dedication and commitment. Yeah. So number one, be clear about your goal. Yeah. You need really to understand uh, what you need. So starting a new career is not easy, as I've mentioned. Yeah. So, however, when you have a final destination in mind, it helps you. It helps uh, you find a new and deal with hurdle in the road. Yeah. So you should be very, very uh, cautious once you start a new career in software, uh, develop. Like for instance, do you want uh, to build your career as a software engineer? Yeah. Uh, do you want to participate or do you want to work in a, a team environment or do you want? To, uh, pay in uh, pay, uh, what actually motivates you that's what you are really looking at yeah uh, of course number two uh, select a language that you can learn yeah software developer uh, of course never uh, ex exclusively uh, focuses on coding however you should know at least a couple of uh, programming languages and have a thorough and deeper understanding of how uh, they function yeah so you should maybe start by looking at uh, Python, Java, yeah, uh, C Sharp. Yeah. Talk about the JavaScript. Learn at least five to seven languages that and ensure that you are good in them, so that at least you have a good foundation as a software developer. And of course, uh, you need to have a degree, earn a degree in uh, computer science or software engineer or any related field, right? So uh, measuring computer science will offer you the most useful background for designing software, yeah? Uh, during interviews, interviewers, uh, interviewers will ask questions uh, regarding data structures and algorithms. So therefore, the theoretical knowledge provided by traditional computer uh, science degrees will prepare you adequately for your next uh, job. And that is not enough. That's why we have step number four. You need to supplement your uh, studies apart from just earning a degree. Yeah, uh, of course we know that educational books are frequently uh, outdated. We have new software challenges, new software updates. Yeah, so uh, in as much as uh, education institutes provide theoretical concept and ways of thinking, which is uh, is very important for your career success, um, you need also uh, to be paid by applying the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, you know, using the real and developing real world uh, software, yeah. So this is where supplementary studies will uh, help you, right? Uh, you need to understand in depth Stack Overflow, yeah, and so on, right? And of course, uh, number five, read code written by experienced um, developers, yeah. Uh, of course, you learn through uh, mentors. Try to understand who has done what before you actually come up with that particular application, right? And of course, lastly, uh, find a community. Uh, you can't really uh, walk alone. Yeah? You can always uh, 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 be part of a forum, uh, online forum, uh, online technical group, yeah? so that you can always uh, keep up uh, with what other developers are doing. And also you can always share yeah, when you have some kind of software development problems, you can always uh, share within that particular uh, community. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think maybe uh, that one could uh, wrap up and maybe give you some kind of uh, informed decision as to how your software development career is going to look like. So, should you feel or find yourself in this particular career, I think you will be right uh, to take anything that comes along with it. So thanks and always remember uh, to subscribe.